Wow, welcome back. You came in just in time. Now I know you've all been waiting for this reaction for a while now. The reason this reaction has taken so long is because for the longest, until yesterday, I was looking like a runaway slave. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mello. Now I need you to do something for me. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video, and comment down below. You already know I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. And let's go ahead and get into this movie reaction. The way this one started reminded me of the video games. R.I.P. Vito! The Godfather was born Vito Adeloni in the town Corleone in Sicily. In 1901, his father was murdered for an assault to the local mafia chieftain. His older brother Paolo swore revenge and disappeared into the hills, leaving Vito the only male heir to stand with his mother at the funeral. He was nine years old. Oh shit, they shooting at a funeral? Damn, for real? Damn, and then it looked like they just threw him on the rocks. Man, that is gruesome right there. That is so messed up. Just a tragic predicament. Yeah, real recognized real. He already know. Stab him! Oh, damn, they blew her away. This man lost his whole family in the same year. Oh, that's real nice of them. They're gonna get him out of the city. That's so sad, man. But that's also pretty inspiring at the same time. He came here by himself and became one of the most powerful dons in New York. Nurse. All right, so right off the bat, I noticed something when it comes to Francis Ford Coppola's cinematography. I think he probably deals with the same people. Come on, son. What is your name? Tuo nome. Vito Andolini from Corleone. Vito Corleone. Hey, he pretty much just saved his life, even though he just ignored his last name. Because he already know people are going to be looking for that last name, Andolini. But yeah, like I was saying, I've noticed something when it comes to Francis Ford Coppola's movies, even though I've only seen three of them. They tend to all have the same type of filter and tint on it, that yellowish tint. That boy Vito got some vocals on him, all right. After one week. All right, Adrian, I Where's see you living lavish. You go see your children first, and then you worry about waiting online to see your brother, like everybody else. Hey, she can't skip the line? Hey, what happened to blood, man? I have here in my hand a check, and it is a magnificent endowment in the name of Anthony Vito Corleone, and the check is signed by that young man's parents, Mike, Pat, or Kay. Stand up, please. You can't call me Mike if you're just gonna pronounce my son's name wrong, bro. You got to call me Michael, dude. This dude really said Vito. <laughs> now, the price for the license is less than $20,000, am I right? Now, why would I ever consider paying more than that? Because I intend to squeeze you. I don't like your kind of people. I don't like to see you come out to this clean country in your oily hair. You try to pass yourselves off as decent Americans. I'll do business with you, but the fact is that I despise your masquerade. The dishonest way you pose yourself, yourself and your whole fucking family. <sighs> this man is bold as fuck. <laughs> We're both part of the same hypocrisy. 
So let's just say that you'll pay me because it's in your interest to pay me. But I want you answering the money by noon tomorrow. And one more thing. Don't you contact me again, ever. From now on, you deal with Turnbull. Who the fuck you think you talking to, bitch? <laughs> My offer is this. Nothing. That's why he wanted to talk in private. He wanted to try to assert his dominance and shit. You're not about to come and talk to me in my face like that, bro. You must have lost your damn mind. Shit, well, he just signed his death warrant right there. And I also like how Robert Duvall don't get that toupee on in this film. <laughs> he was like, forget that, man. I'm gonna just be honest. Tom isn't gonna sit in with us, Johnny. He only handles specific areas of the family business. Tom? Sure, Mike. I guess he don't like that. But he gotta tolerate it, though. Bum, 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 bum. Is this man trying to do? Beast of Hell no, what you think this is? Kenny Gordon? <laughs> oh, now they're just joking with him. Okay. Yeah, get his ass off the stage. I'll see my sister alone. How are you, honey? You met Merle. He was with me in Vegas. Hey, man. Her yeah, whole personality seemed to change after the first hey, movie. Boy. We're going to Europe next week. I'd like to book passage on the Queen. We're getting married first. The ink on your divorce isn't dry yet, and you're getting married? You know, your oldest boy, Victor, was picked up in Reno for some petty theft you don't even know about? Michael! You fly around the world with men who don't care for you and use you like a whore? You're not my father! Then what do you come to me for? Because I need money. Well, sell that necklace you got. Wow. She must have took that death from her first husband really hard. Now, why don't you stay here with us, with the family? You won't be deprived of anything. You can have everything you want. And why don't you tell him marriage is out of the question and you don't want to see him anymore? If you don't listen to me, marry this man. You'll disappoint me. That is definitely not the path you want to take, girl. I'm worried about her. I thought she was going to turn out to be a good mother and all that stuff. She don't even want to spend time with her kids? Dang, I did not sense that from her at all. What's the It means we should all live happily for a hundred years. The family. It would be true if my father were alive. I don't like how she threw that little sneak diss. <laughs> Dang, that's your wife and she dancing with another man all up on him. Come on, Fredo, be a man, bro. Smart dance. Dancing is one thing. You're falling all over the floor. Oh, you. you only worried about her falling all over the floor? Michael says that if you can't take care of this, I have to. I think you better. Yeah, you gotta let her go, man. Are you sitting high up in the Sierra Mountains and you're passing judgment on how I run my thing? Ancora porta il nome del Coleone. E tu sempre devi di rispettare i cosi di famiglia. Avani di me, non mangio car, non mangio Las Vegas, e non mangio Miami. Con Jaime Roth. Yo, the disrespect this man is receiving right here in the beginning of this film is ridiculous. And I want those Lozano brothers dead. No. Now I have business that's important with Hyman Roth. I don't want it disturbed. And you give your loyalty to a Jew before your own blood. Oh my God. Your father did business with Hyman Roth, but your father never trusted Hyman Roth. Oh shit! Oh, they shut his wife up! Okay, you're right. We're here. Oh, damn, I thought she was shot up. The way she was moving, it looked like she was getting lit up. Oh, thank God she's still alive, man. There's a lot I can't tell you, though. Yeah, I know that's upset you in the past. Yeah. yeah so you felt it was because of some lack of trust or confidence. It's because I admire you. That's why at this moment, you're the only one I can completely trust. Tom, you're my brother. I always wanted to be thought of as a brother by you. I mean, well, he always thought of you as a brother, man. I guess you just wanted to hear it verbally. You're going to be in a doubt. What? What I think has happened has happened. I'm gonna leave here tonight. You sure this is a good idea? Unless I'm very wrong, they're dead already. They're killed by somebody close to us. Inside. Very, very frighteningly botched it. Well, but your people would rock one near you and think that they had something to do with this. Hmm, maybe this was an inside job, because they're having trouble finding these people. I mean, but I agree with Mike, because... Tom is the only brother he got, because Fredo, I mean, even though it's kind of messed up to not call him a brother or something, it's just, Fredo, he just been fucking up. <laughs> Anthony, I'm going to be leaving very early tomorrow. Why do you have to go? I was after the business. I could help you. Someday you will. That was a real sweet moment right there. I like the different versions they be playing of the theme song. 
Robert De Niro, that boy Vito Corleone. I'm guessing that's Sonny. Hey, Vito, then about the lunch you do here. A bed. Ma per te è bello, per me c'è solo mia moglie e a me figlia. I've never seen that man that young before. The dude with the eyebrows. Oh, scusa. Wow, bro. Yeah, you dead now. Ferruccio parte alla mano in ora e tutto il cinese lo paga, lo ci sono soldi. I wonder if Robert De Niro and Marlon Brando got together before Robert De Niro started shooting on this role. What the heck, man? You don't say no, hey, what's up? Well, now you got this man into something that he didn't even want to get into. Hey, saluto, bandando. This is my nipote. Vido, i cose fanno malamente. Fanucci, chiamo non lo puti. E voi ci avete dato tutto da io me. E voi è stato sempre buono con me da quando ero bicerigio. E io ho uno scordo. Dang, man. And then he can't afford to have all three of them working for him. Io sogno la mangia, ce l'hai ancora le cose? C'è un amico che aveva un tappeto buono, può essere che a tua moglie ci piace. Usaccio come a ringraziare. Yeah, sure. Ci piace se mi muovi. You know, I do like how sometimes Francis Ford Coppola non will casaraccia. show us more than just the story at hand. He will show us the world so we feel like we are more involved into this story. Like we're there. Vito, come in a mano, eh? The hell are we doing here, man? Just brought him to somebody else's house. Oh, we're still in the rug. <laughs> nah, man, I don't know if I want this rug anymore, man. Yo, Clemenza, dude, you doing some reckless stuff right now. But they still took the rug. <laughs> Park all up on that grass, huh? <laughs> yeah, but Florida neighborhoods always look so nice. As long as it's not the hood. <laughs> I came here because there's gonna be more bloodshed. I want you to know about it before it happens so that there's no danger of starting another war. Nobody wants another war. Frank Pantangeli came to my home and he asked my permission to get rid of the Rosado brothers. When I refused, he tried to have me killed. The important thing is that nothing interfere with our plans for the future you're a wise and considerate young man yeah he is really wise that's why i'm gonna believe and trust in his decision to think that that guy is the one who sent those people to kill him i mean like they haven't shown us any proof that it was him but i mean if michael thinks that is him then all right so they got him living in their old house now hey that's surprising I really didn't think they was going to move. In my, home. in my bedroom where my wife sleeps. Where my children come and play with their toys. Settle these troubles with the Rosano brothers. That Hyman Roth in Miami, that... He's backing up those son of a bitches. I know he is. Then why? Why do you ask me to lay down to him, Mike? It was Hyman Roth that tried to have me killed. Hmm. I mean, well, he did say, you know, don't trust him. This used to be my father's old study. My father taught me many things here. He taught me, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Now, if Hyman Roth sees that I interceded in this thing, in the Rosado brothers' favor, he's gonna think his relationship with me is still good. I want him completely relaxed and confident in our friendship. Then I'll be able to find out who the traitor in my family was. Damn, man, this is getting good now. Oh my goodness. I didn't even think it was Roth. But I had a feeling something's probably gonna come up with that old man. But I really like how Al Pacino be sitting in the chair and stuff. It just looks so commanding. Rito, this is Johnny. Pentangeli set up a meeting with the Rosado brothers. He says he's going to go for their deal. Oh. Will he come along? I don't know anything. You got me in deep enough already. Just go along. Everything will be all right, Rito. I don't want you to call me anymore. Your brother's not going to find out we talked. I don't know what you're talking about. Damn, Fredo, for real, bruh? Come on. You a traitor, man? Didn't Michael just tell you to never choose anybody over the family? 
Yes. We're all real happy about your decision, Frankie. Oh, well, they ain't gonna I kill this man. I had just a villain. Ah. It's just like ah. how they killed Luca in the first one. Ah. Oh. Ah. Are you open or closed? Hey, I just come in to clean up a little, you know? Is that something on the floor? Carmine, no, no, not here. Carmine! Damn, he still died, though. Wow, that was straight chaotic, man. I didn't know what was going on right there in that shootout. I want to talk to him alone first. I thought I could help you, Senator. It's all right. I didn't do anything. It's okay. Oh, now you want to act all scary and shit. When I woke up, I was on the floor. You can't remember? I, I think so. Golly, man, damn. Looked like somebody probably ripped her open. I don't know, and I don't understand why I can't remember. You don't have to remember. Just do as I say. They're putting a call into your office. Explain that you'll be there tomorrow afternoon. You decided to spend the night at Michael Corleone's house in Tahoe. All that's left is our friendship. Mm, so they pretty much just set him up. I had a feeling. So basically, this is their way of trying to blackmail him. Johnny. In the end, qualche schifo sei bandi. Stanno facendo la polizia. Oh, damn! Oh, so that man was like a suicide bomber. What I'm saying is that we have now what we have always needed. Real partnership with the government. Smaller piece. You all know... Michael Corleone, at the time of my retirement or death, I turn over all my interest in the Havana operation to his control. So I'm guessing he never intended to give these assets to Michael since he wanted to have him killed. I wouldn't want it to get around that you held back the money because you had second thoughts about the rebels. Now, Mama used to tease me. She'd say, uh, you don't belong to me. You were left on the doorstep by gypsies. Hey, I know that had to hurt. I was mad at you. Are you trying to confess something? Why didn't we spend time like this before? Nah, don't try to change the subject, man. Seemed like he was about to say something. He just stopped himself. How do you say banana daiquiri? Banana daiquiri. That's it. That's it. Later on in the evening, we're all invited to the presidential palace for reception, bringing the new year. After it's over, you can take me home in a military car for my protection. Before I reach my hotel, I'll be assassinated. You know, everything is about to go down. It was Roth that tried to kill me in my home. He acts like I'm his son, his successor. So I'm guessing the reason why Roth is acting that certain type of way and making it seem like Michael's going to be his successor is just in case something was to happen to Michael, they wouldn't be looking at Roth about it. Who had Frank Pantangeli killed? The Rosado brothers. But who gave the go-ahead? There was this kid I grew up with. He was younger than me. We I didn't knew. ask you that. I loved him and trusted him. That kid's name was Mo Green, and the city he invented was Las Vegas. You gotta be fucking kidding me, this bro. He's a great man. I think somebody did say that Someone somebody was gonna come at him for killing Mo Green. Put a bullet through his eye. And I said to myself, this is the business we've chosen. I didn't ask who gave the order. Yeah, but you're trying to have me killed, bitch. What the hell are you talking about? His performance in this movie is pretty cool. Dang, how did he even suspect that Michael is the one who gave the order? Unless somebody snitched. You don't know my brother Fredo, do you, Johnny? We never met. Johnny Ola. That was weird. Why Gentlemen, did Fredo act like that, man? Is Johnny the dude he be talking to on the phone? What the hell is going on, bro? Damn, what just happened? It just cut right there when they, he dropped his robe. Where did you buy this place? Johnny Ola told me about this place. He brought me here. I didn't believe it, but seeing is believing, huh? Are we talking about the same Johnny that you just said you never met? Damn, man. That's when he just realized that his brother is involved in this. And it breaks his heart. Hey. Killing this man with a hanger, a wooden hanger at that. Shit, I guess this old man right here ain't one to mess with. Dang, well, 
Thank you, they came and took her out of there so he can go ahead and kill this man. This man, Michael, brought a pro with him on this trip. That's what I'm talking about. Oh! Oh! Are you sure about that? Damn, they just had to come in right there when he was about to kill him. Oh my gosh, man. I was wondering if they was gonna complicate things. I know it was you, Fredo. You broke my heart. <laughs> Hell, man. I like that. That was nice. This is probably my favorite scene so far. Pido a serios reveses de nuestras tropas en Guantánamo y Santiago. Mi permanencia en Cuba es insostenible. Deseándoles a todos muy buena suerte. And I guess they didn't want that to happen because they all just left after he announced that. I would have waited to tell him when we was in the car. Man, they having a riot. Oh my goodness. I mean, y'all already got the president to resign and step down. What y'all still rioting for? Or is this like a victory riot? Ross got out in a private boat. He's in the hospital in Miami. Uh, had a stroke, but he recovered okay. Well, there was something else. Kay had a miscarriage. She lost the baby. Oh, man, that's boy. tough. That's Mikey, tough. Mikey, three and a half months. Now, can't you give me a straight answer anymore? Wasn't a boy! I, I know that that hurts, because I actually had a miscarriage as well with one of my ex-girlfriends. Hmm. I'm guessing whatever they're doing is trying to cheer the baby from some type of sickness, or is that some type of ritual from their religion or something? I mean, that's messed up that you even knew that we did that. Se we are with you, you're going to be able to get a lot of money. You're going to be able to get a lot of money. You're going to be able to get a lot of money. You're going to be able to get a lot of money. You're going to be able to get a lot of money. You're going to be able to get a lot of money. You're going to be able to get a lot of money. You're going to be able to get a lot of money. You're going to be able to get a lot of money. You're going to be able to get a lot of money. You're going to be able to get a lot of money. You're going to it's probably my favorite scene from Robert De Niro so far. Seems like that's when he officially became Vito Corleone. Matheus is a good okay, do this is the sick. I'm making all of you don't refuse. Ha ha! Solo Rogetto Toscuti. A comore su e senza tabacco. Mi ha sentito che di tempo. Tu sai un vero in tuo stomaco. Damn, Ruth. You just gonna slurp the tea up like that? <laughs> Oh, hell no, did he not just do that like I'm a little boy? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're gonna touch my damn face like you my grandfather or something. Wow, he had a scar under his throat. Hmm, wonder if he was hanged before or somebody tried to slice his throat. Man, still alive, so he is tough. Man, we're fine. Ooh, right there in the heart. Ah, oh, damn. This man's still up, too. Oh, wow. He a real sudden drop. <laughs> Oh, you gotta make sure that man dead. Damn! Shoot, that's how that boy Vito was working? All right. Okay, that was pretty smooth. That was smart right there. I like this shot. This is nice. This is like really bright. <laughs> I like that shot, man. Oh, we're doing an intermission? Oh, wow, I'm surprised. <laughs> Didn't think they was gonna have an intermission on this thing here. It's not like I'm at the theater. But in actuality, you remember the Corleone crime organization. 
no, we call it the Corleone family, Senator. What was your position? Well, when the boss says push a button on a guy, I push a button. What the hell is this yeah, man that's doing? that's right, Counselor. Family is uh, Michael Corleone. Yeah, Counselor, Michael Corleone, right. What the hell is going on? This man straight up snitching on the family. Uh, was there always a buffer involved? There's someone in between you and your possible superiors who gave the actual order. Right, yeah, Buffer. Yeah, he trying to Mr. save Chichi, you Michael find right there. Music, Hell yeah. I promise you. Damn, man. Ever since Vito died or got hurt, it's just this family has been going downhill and it feel like the world has just been closing on them. That's messed up. But it does go for an interesting story, though. Make it a de forte, la famiglia. Make it a veduta. Ma tua famiglia, non tu puoi chiamare. Yeah, he's torn between trying to find out what to do with Fredo. No, no, è mio piacere, niente sordo. I vicini si lungoliarono con i pagioni di casa di Idda Bucani. Oh, so now this is his neighborhood, okay. E quando i padroni di casa venne a sapere, si ingazzavo, ci risse di resin. You're like, bro, I'm not trying to embarrass your ass in front of all these people. You better take this money. Oh, he got his own building now? Ma signora Colombo, poi da stanta casa. Io vorrei portare i soldi che mi ha dato. Mi torno al retro. He found out who he was, okay. Noi facciamo tutti i nostri discorsi, ma stavolta mi da scusare perché io proprio... La bucanda, ce l'amo. Pure a me mi piace stare con voi, sapete? Perché lo capisco. This man terrified. I wonder what they did to sway this man. But before I leave, I do want to say this. Because I can state from my own knowledge and experience that Italian Americans are among the most loyal, most law abiding, patriotic, hard working American citizens in this land. Oh, for real? And okay, that's what he's saying now. Teacher. Got that man in the palm of his hand now. Out. Man was not saying that earlier. We have testimony from a witness, a previous witness, one Willie Chichi. He has stated that you are head of the most powerful mafia family in this country. Yeah, not anymore. The witness anymore. has testified that you are personally responsible for the murder of a New York City police captain in 1947. And with him, a man named Virgil Solozzo. Damn, how y'all know about that? <laughs> 1950, you devised the murder of the heads of the so-called five families. Damn, who been snitching? Wow. That I served my country faithfully and honorably in World War II. That no proof linking me to any criminal conspiracy, whether it is called Mafia or Casa Nostra, or whatever other name you wish to give. And you're going to look respectable for 50 million of your fellow Americans. Oh, so he's the one who snitched. Damn, this man Michael can't trust nobody right now. How'd they get their hands on Roth, he engineered it, Michael. Frankie went to make a deal with the Rosado brothers, and they uh, tried to kill him. He thought you double-crossed him. Damn, man. Thought he was steps ahead of him, but Roth was steps ahead of him. Even though he kind of got lucky that the military walked in when he was about to get killed. But no matter what, if we would have killed him or not, we probably still had to go through this whole trial and everything. I didn't know it was going to be a hit, Mike. Johnny Ola bumped into me. He said that you and, and Roth were in on a, a big deal together. That there was something in it for me if I could help him out. You believe that story? I've always taken care of you. Yeah, why don't you come to me, taken man? Taken care of me? I'm your older brother, Mike, and I was stepped over. That's the way Pop wanted it. It ain't the way I wanted it. I can handle things. I'm smart. Not like everybody says. I had a feeling that's what that was his motivation. But yeah, he's killing it right here in this monologue. You're nothing to me now. You're not a brother. You're not a friend. I don't want to know you or what you do. When you see our mother, I want to know a day in advance so I won't be there. I mean, yeah, you just can't kill your brother, man, but that's tough right, right there. I don't want anything to happen to him while my mother's alive. 
Sure, I like that line. I really didn't even think that it bothered Fredo that much that he wasn't the Don. But I mean, I know every man would love to be in a position of power. But still, you was getting everything... You had women, money, you had cars, you was in nice places, you had your own businesses, all that. Guess that just wasn't enough. This witness has had no buffer between himself and Michael Corleone. I, uh, I never knew no godfather. Your sworn affidavit that you murdered on the orders of Michael Corleone. Look, the FBI guys, they promised me a deal. So I, so I made up a lot of stuff about Michael Corleone. <laughs> Would you kindly identify for the committee the gentleman sitting to your left? He came at his own expense to aid his brother in his time of trouble. I'm going to find out what the hell happened here. <laughs> All right, this committee is now adjourned. Oh, Witnesses that was excuse. real Get nice. Okay, cool. Get Mr. out of this situation. Man, forget that apology, man. I ain't worried about no apology from a bunch of old bitches. Michael, I'm not going back to Nevada. I brought the children to say goodbye to you. You leaving me? Girl, I, my, the love of my life mind. died and I came to you. What, why are you leaving me? Changes I want to make. I think it's too late for changes, Michael. My God, look what's happened to our son, Michael. Nothing's happened to us. Don't tell me nothing. Anthony's fine. Now. Anthony is not I, I don't want to hear about it. You will I don't want to hear about it. At least I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. Dang, I wanted to hear about it. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. What's, what's wrong with Anthony? At this moment, I feel no love for you at all. What? What's been going I never on? I that would ever happen. Do you expect me to let you go? Do you expect me to let you take my children from me? Yeah, like Vito said, you're not a real man until you spend time with your family. I know you blame me for losing the baby. I swear I'll make it up to you. Michael, you are blind. It wasn't a miscarriage. It was an abortion. Oh, my. An abortion, Michael. I didn't want your son, Michael. It was a son, a son, and I had it killed because this must all end. It's been going on for 2,000 years. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. I got pretty much just as heated as he was, man. Like that was really my baby that the girl just took away from me without even saying a fucking word. I, I really can't believe she would do something like that. Like I understand that she probably got scared after that shooting and everything. Cause I know that's probably when she stopped loving him or she probably was that love was probably going down before that shooting. And then once that shooting happened, she was like, yeah, I can't love this man anymore. This man, Michael's life is just falling apart. He, he literally cannot trust nobody except Tom. One of the things I've noticed when it comes to this film here is whenever Michael is in a very stressful situation or just had a very stressful situation happen, traumatic situation, whatever you want to call it. Then that's when it was switched to his father's story, Vito. Vito came to get his revenge. <laughs> I'll be surprised this man even remember this man. Oh, I mean, you kind of just took him out of his misery, though. Damn, what type of rifle you got? Or was that a shotgun? Damn, man, he freaking like carved that dude like a pig. Yeah, man, that man was old, could barely process stuff here, see, probably could barely walk. So you basically just ended his suffering, to be honest with you. Michael, say goodbye. So Michael was his favorite since he was born. Oh, wow, his mother passed away. I really didn't think his mother was going to die so soon, even when he said that line about not hurting Fredo while his mother was alive. Michael, I'd like to stay close to home now if it's all right. I'll say this is the perfect time, to be honest with you. He's pretty much losing his whole family. 
Michael Fred is in the house with Mama. He asked for you, and Tom said you wouldn't see him. I like the lighting so right here. Years. Can't you forgive Fredo? He's so sweet and helpless without you. I already gave him a warning in the first movie, so no. Oh, look at that shot. That shot was nice right there, especially with the lighting, man. I just really like how Al Pacino be sitting in these chairs. He got that look like, nah, I'm still about to kill this dude. Don't worry about that. Yes, he just want to show people that he forgave him. Or maybe he did forgive him. He just pissed off right now. He got a lot going on. If anything in this life is certain, if history's taught us anything, it says you can kill anyone. You can always Rock catch on. somebody lacking, man. You were moving your family to Vegas? How much you've been offered the uh, vice presidency of the house and hotels there? Thought you were going to tell me that. I turned them down. I mean, do I have to tell you about every offer that I turned down? And Roth and the Rosados are on the run. Are they worth it? Yes, they want. tried to kill me. You want to wipe everybody out? I don't feel I have to wipe everybody out, Tom. Just my enemies. That was a nice line right there. I like that. You know, when I was your age, I went out to fishing with all my brothers and, and my father. Every time I put the line in the water, I said a Hail Mary. And every time I said a Hail Mary, I caught a fish. That whole scene with Fredo and his nephew, I don't know about that. I didn't know how to feel about that. Yeah, but only the rich guys, Tom. The little guys, they got knocked off. And all their estates went to the emperors. Unless they went home and they killed themselves. They, uh, they went home and sat in a hot bath. Opened up their veins. Please, kiss me once. Girl, you better get the hell up out of here. Better take you in that 70s show hairstyle on somewhere, girl. I don't know why she crying and all that stuff. And you wanted to do some BS like you did? Don't be over here crying and shit. Anthony! He's here, we're going fishing! Take him to Reno now. I'll catch one for you with the secret, huh? Alright? Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay, so this is when Fredo about to die. Frankie! Hey, did he escape or did he end himself? I'm a retired investor living on a pension. I came home to vote in the presidential election because they wouldn't give me an absentee ballot. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> he just walked up on his ass. That was like a suicide kill. Yeah. I had a feeling he killed himself. When he said all that stuff to Tom, I had a feeling. Blessed art thou amongst women. And this man over here praying Blessed and stuff. The fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Wow, just like the first movie, took out all his enemies. Man, that's so sad, man. He had to kill his brother. It's my friend Carl Riz. This cute little thing over here, this is my sister Connie. I was telling you about it, huh? Oh, that droopy thing over there, that's my brother Mike. Yeah. That boy Mike was an entirely was different lifestyle. person back then. Sonny, come on. Don't touch the antipasto till Pop hey, sees it. Oh, uh, we gonna get a cameo? <laughs> Country ain't your blood. You remember that. I don't feel that way. I don't feel that way. Well, if you don't feel like that, why don't you just quit college and go to, go to join the army? I did. So this is a scene before the first movie took place. Thank you for all this heart on his birthday. Congratulations. Uh, that's right, encourage Go on, give me a drink. <laughs> you Fredo just what? happy he ain't the fuck up today. You're really stupid. He's here, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, that's one of the things that I picked up in the first movie. Like, even though Michael loved his family, he didn't really want to be with everybody else. But the only reason why he chose to become the Don and all that is because of what happened to his dad. Oh, that's the end? Oh, 
no. <laughs> Just like the first one. Oh my gosh, man. I wanted it to keep going. Now I know a lot of people, a lot of people in my comment section was saying that the second one was better than the first. To me, I would say the first one was better because of Marlon Brando and because of just the story of seeing Al Pacino come from a guy who was in the military to now being the Don of the family. That was a great story right there. It was so interesting. This one right here, it was a cool story. I really liked the tension in it and everything, but it just, it, it didn't really catch me like the first one did. All right, everybody, and that was The Godfather Part 2. This movie right here is fantastic. Even though I didn't really like it as much as the first, it's still a masterpiece of filmmaking. The acting was phenomenal. The dialogue was fantastic. I really like the cinematography in this movie. Al Pacino did really good in this movie, better than he did in the first one, in my opinion. I really like the story in this one. It's just the story in the first one connected to me a lot better. I would say that this one was more tragic than the first one. I really felt for Michael right here. I really felt like I was in this movie over and over again. I kept feeling like my heart was breaking from all these people that he had close to him who was just betraying him or hurting him to the point where his trust was very low. I can't wait to hear y'all thoughts when it comes to this movie. I really hope that y'all enjoyed watching this movie with me and that y'all enjoyed this video. I would have to give this movie a 10A. Like the first one I gave a 10A plus, this one I'm giving a 10A. But if you did enjoy this video, you know, please like, share, comment down below, and subscribe. That definitely helps the channel grow and the video grow. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be in the description. Also got a Patreon now, and that will be in the description as well. You can get full link movie reactions and exclusively only tv reactions and anime reactions will be on patreon but with all that being said i'll see y'all in the next one all right peace